Welcome back once again to End of the Wolf Time! So guys, I'd just like to say happy Monday to everybody. If you're watching this on another day, happy whatever day it is that you're watching it on right now. So guys, I'd like you to um, just uh, thank you for being patient with all the videos and stuff that are coming out. I know there's a lot of D&D related stuff coming out now. And that's basically because we had like a two week binge on it. Uh, me, Pigeon M's. And um, yeah, we did a lot of D&D stuff and I just wanted to get it out there. We've actually recorded up to episode like 24. I know what's currently out on the channel now is only like episode 13 or something. So there's a fuck ton of stuff yet to come, a fuck ton more awesomeness. If you haven't checked it out, please go to the link in the doobly doo down below if you'd like to get a bit of a flavour for D&D. Now guys, first of all, I'd like to start the show off with a bit of a rant really. Now, you've all seen it when you're browsing eBay and stuff. This is another eBay related rant as well, by the way. Um, which, funnily enough, fits in with the theme of the episode. I buy too much shit off eBay. Now, essentially, you've all seen it when, you know, you're browsing eBay and you type in random things, you know, random things that you think like, and you come across just shit that isn't Warhammer related. You know, some fucker somewhere has put it up, like, Warhammer 40k Imperial Guard vehicle, and it's like a fucking G.I. Joe toy or something like that. Or it just looks completely out of the 40k universe, it just looks fucking bullshit. Now, the thing that I'm on about, I will show you briefly, is, uh, is this. I mean, will you just fucking look at it? How is this Warhammer 40k related? Now, I've got a massive beef with people that post these. Um, because, you know, say for example, you're a parent or something like that, and you know, you just have to, you know, oh, do you know what, my, my child would really like a new, a new Warhammer figure, but, you know, I'm going to get some off eBay, I want to get a bit of a bargain. They have no clue, like, for, imagine for a sec, they have no clue what they're on about, you know. They don't have your knowledge um, of, you know, what is in the 40k universe. They would see this and go, oh, wow, look at this, this looks really cool. I bet little Jimmy would like this. So they get it, and they pay through the teeth for it, and then it arrives, and you go, oh, little Jimmy, look, I've got you a present. What the fuck's this, Dad? What the fuck's this, Mum? I mean, I'm sure, like... The children wouldn't be as ungrateful as that. Um, however, you know, there's probably some little bastards out there that would. Um, but look, it's just the fucking... It, it's, it is exploiting parents that don't know anything about the hobby. Now, this, this is just fucking bullshit. I mean, first off, look at this. This could not pass as any Imperial Guard vehicle. Maybe if you hacked it all apart and reassembled it in some configuration, you'd be able to. But... I mean, just, just look at the fucking state of it. Number one, the paint job is fucking shit on it. Number two, it's probably made out of the worst plastic imaginable. I mean, look at the fucking barrels! The, the barrels, the guns, the fucking mold lines and shit all over this. Oh, it's fucking wank. Ugh! I hate stuff like this. It just winds me up and it makes me want to go and send a message to the fucking seller and go, Mate, you are a fucking scammer. You should go and die in a fucking fire, you little piece of shit. Um, anyway, guys, um, so uh, that little rant over. So, guys, with that rant over, I think I need something to chill me out a little bit. Now, um, funny enough, this brings me on to my next point. Um, one of my good friends has actually recently just done an album. It's a chill-out album. And, um, you know, I just thought I'd, I'd, you know, give him a bit of a plug on here just to get it out there a little bit. If you guys like listening to chill-out music, if you guys like getting stoned and listening to chill-out music, this is right up your alley. Um, it's just really, really nice instrumental kind of stuff. Um, but, you know, it's nice to stick on in the background, get a little bit high too, or, you know, paint some models or build something too, or get high whilst building or painting. It's really, really nice stuff. Um, you guys should go check it out. His link is in the doobly-doo down below. Like I say, go there, show him some support, tell him great Jojo Man sent you. And so, guys, without further ado, let's move on with the rest of the show. Okie dokie, guys. So, um... I'm really far back on this episode. Um, on uh, this episode, oh, uh, sorry, start again. Hello, guys. 
So, on uh, today's episode, what we're going to be looking at, we're going to be looking at, um, a lot. first of all, a lot of the stuff that I bought off eBay. I've had some pretty decent eBay wins as of late. Um, and uh, what we're going to do first, though, we're going to kick off, I'm going to show you something that I've done to the uh, Mega Fortress. Now, as you can see, this thing, this is why I'm so far, but I am the furthest back from my desk that I can be. And this thing still barely fits in the shot. Um... Oh my god, I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna have to see if I can. I'm gonna have to. Fuck's sake, I'm gonna have to move my bastard chair to get all this in. Right, so that's. That's moved. Now. Oh, fucking dog's going mental. Right, guys, so there's the Mega Fortress. As you can see, it's slimmed down a little bit. Um, here, uh, this has moved from the side here, um, basically to, to fit something on. But yeah, like I say, something's happened to the Mega Fortress. Something awesome. Yep, that's right, motherfuckers. If you guessed what I'd done to it, you would have guessed right. And essentially, yes, I've turned it into a stomper. Um, now, the reason why I did this, because I was actually looking over the rules for um, Skull Hammers and... Um, and uh, the battle forges and stuff, and they're not actually that good. They can take fuck all weapon options. They've only got like three structure points or something as well, and they're just overall balls. Um, so I was like, oh fuck, I spent like a fuck ton of money on making this massive behemoth of a mon of a model of a model, and I was like, oh, I probably won't even field it. And I was like, no, no, I'm not going to be defeated. I am not going to be defeated. So I proceeded then to turn it into a fucking huge mech boy stomper. Now, yes, I know stompers are supposed to have legs and they're supposed to stomp, but this is more like a crusher. This is going to be called the, the Skull Crusher, I think. The Free Looters Skull Crusher. Because it's um, like a, it's, a, it's like a, it rolls over stuff, basically, and, uh, and crushes it. So, yeah. But anyway, um, I'm going to take you guys in for a close look. And um, so we're going to go... We're gonna go fucking handheld now, bitches. <laughs> Detaching. Okay, so I'm um, starting with the uh, the head here. Now, this head I was really really chuffed with. Um, started off a bit sketchy because um, I didn't really know um, how I was gonna construct it. I was trying to find a box and it really wouldn't work. Oh, by the way, guys, all these parts are magnetized. There's a two pence piece jammed in there, and there's also underneath here I had to hack the bastion apart. There is a, a really powerful neodymium rare earth magnet stuck under there as well, which basically stops it from falling off um, the miniature in transition. So it's quite sturdy, as you can see. There's no wobble at all, really. Um, the um, uh, gaze of Mork or gaze of Gork, whichever you prefer, moves about, and you can actually emote him with his eyebrow. I also think that after I did this, because I'd wanted because it just had like this little viewing port here. So I was like, right, okay, I want it to look a bit more orky. So I gave him this big eye thing. It looks like he's got a monocle. Like a sir. It's the gentleman gargan. Dead dead gentleman stomper. But yeah, so what I'll do, I'll just, I'll just turn his head around. So as you can see here, um it's constructed out of the front part of the main blade. We've got an orc just chilling out the top, like waving, like ah, shoot the guns, shoot the guns. Um, we've got some orky glyphs and some uh, techy bits on the side. Uh, some nice little rivets. There's a bit of a hole here. Oh, I do believe. Uh, oh, trains is um, trying to uh, trying to con trying to trying to contact me. Um, but yeah. Uh, blah, 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 blah. So uh, as you can see, um, we've got some techy bits. I've not filled this bit in here because I'm thinking. I'm thinking, guys, that I actually want to put a red LED in the gaze of Mork, which would be really cool. Ah! Ah, the chains is ringing me! Ah, I, don't, I have to pause it for a second, guys. Okay, guys, so, uh, sorry about that. Um, that, that was the uh, chains uh, calling me. He's, um, uh, something about uh, finishing off. It just done one of the uh, the boys that I asked him to paint for me. Um, but yeah, so, um, I want to try and put um, an LED light in this gaze of Mort, but I have no idea how. So, if anybody has any experience with putting LEDs in models, uh, if you could, like, uh, do me a video response and just show me how, I'd really like to give it a go. I think it'd be really cool. Hence, the top of it has been, like, left open. Uh, but yeah, on the other side of it, we've got some more orky glyphs, some more worky bits, some sensors and things. The back of it is actually the rear plate of the, um, the main blade, which is pretty cool. Uh, uh, just a lot of techy bits, a lot of worky bits. Um, moving on to um, the lifter dropper arm. This is really cool, and I'm actually going to have to put it back on the tripod to show this. Oh, right, okay, guys, there we go. Oh, I absolutely detest fucking going handheld, because it makes people feel motion sick. Right, anyway, guys, so this is the... the oh, fuck's sake, rare earth magnet sticking my tools to it. 
Um, this this is the lifter dropper arm, um, which I've done. Because um, obviously it's a mech boy, and the lifter dropper is a fucking awesomely destructive weapon because you can fuck shit up with it. It's like, hey, Mr. Storm Raven, hey, Mr. Land Raider, hey, Mr. Bane Blade, I'm going to lift you up and slam you down. You're going to take D6 pen uh, uh, glancing hits or whatever it is. I don't really know the rules. I've not got the apocalypse rule, but yeah, that's just what I've heard. But yeah, basically, um, this was made out of, well, uh, mostly out of the um, Icarus Last Cannon that you get with the Bastion. Because um, what I want, I wanted it to be like have some uh, degree of articulation. Um, so basically, it's got an elbow there, which is fully uh, movable, which is really cool. Now, what I, the magnet, as strong as it is, is not strong enough to support the arm when it's fully outright like that, um, which is unfortunate. But it's enough to, you know, you can re still reposition it to a degree, which is pretty cool. Uh, also, if, in case you guys are wondering what I actually do use for the shoulders on this, they're actually Humbral um, Precision Poly glue pots. All the ones that I had around, they're like the perfect size. Just hack them in half, stuck a magnet in there, and boom, jobs are good. And um, but yeah, as you can see, um, made out of a lot of parts from the um, Bastion kit. Uh, we've got some cables and stuff hanging down. I will add more cables to it as well because I don't think it looks like it's got enough juice going to it currently. Um, Pidge is actually, Mr. Pidge has actually given me some uh, some really cool, like pretty rigid cable, uh, like hollow tubing that. I can use scale, which is pretty nice. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna pull pull this piece of plastic off because I fucking hate it. it's just stuck there. I might add some more techy bits. Um, uh, also, the actual um, other other parts of it, we've got a um, predator um, a, blah, 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 turret upside down. We've got a tower turret as well, which is pretty cool. You know, because it's got this little bomb hatch, like a little emergency escape route. Now, as you can see, there's a little Gretchen actually in here, which is really really cool. And um, there's Gretchen on both the arms because I think it's sort of oh, you know. It'd just be cool to have like a little turret, like a little Gretchen in there, you know, minding it and keeping it working and stuff, or maybe even firing it. And he's just like sticking his head out, like, "Wow, got a shooting face with my grot blaster, yeah." Um, but yeah, this is. I mean, I love like the whole cobbling together of arms and things. It actually took me a long time to work out how I was going to do these. Took me like probably at least a couple of hours to plan it out, and then it just evolved. Um, but yeah, it's it's a really cool ass looking arm. Uh, and then the, the what the real challenge though after done the lifter dropper arm came from um, the, uh, the the other arm with the um, the kill cannon or the mega death cannon or whatever it is and the um, giga shooter because I was like oh for fuck's sake what am I gonna do but then I realised I ordered a load of um, ABS piping you know the stuff that you can buy in, like hobbycraft and stuff like like eight quid for free tubes I ordered like a bundle of it like a fist sized bundle of different sized tubes and things off of eBay came from Hong Kong so I used um, used them to make this awesome freaking giga shooter. It's got so much dacker, so much dacker. Um, but yeah, so it looks freaking awesome. So we've got the kill cannon or mega cannon down here, which is um, a tower railgun. Um, this thing obviously is designed to, to spin around. It's got fucking so many barrels. It's freaking awesome. Um, some basic, you know, just bits of armor plate in and orkiness stuck on. Um, again, made from more parts of the bastion. The bastion is a really really good kit. You can utilize it in so many ways. Got another turret stuck on there. It's like actually backwards, which you know kind of looks pretty cool. Bit of a, that was a, just like just plug up the hole essentially. Uh, we've got um, a bit of a uh, well, I use this as a, just use this as a big shooter. This is a uh, fucking um, uh, an auto cannon. Uh, we've got some rockets and missiles that are stuck on the side. I have some cables these, so they just look rather stuck on at the moment. Gonna armor it up a little bit more. We got some uh, exhausts and stuff um, and some worky bits on the side. Now. Oh, me, uh, Simpsons game is going off. Uh, and uh, this little thing on the back, it looked really weird just having that stuck on it. So I was like, all right, it needs kind of like, like, a, like a hopper or like, a, you know, like a, an ammo release. So I don't know whether, I mean, you know, take it or leave it. This will basically be um, where, like, you know, um, excess ammunition um, gets stored. Or maybe it's like a dump. So uh, when, you know, it's empty, um, they can basically ditch all, like, dump all this out and then... Um, you know, reload more in. Now, I imagine orcs, rather than actually fully reloading the ammunition, they just tip buckets of ammunition into it and it just flings it out at ridiculous velocity. But anyway, I'm rambling now, so we've got some more orc glyphs there. Now, the little top bit is a little, little turret, little tiny... Oh, it's... oh no! That's really lit... Bollocks! I'm going to have to re-glue that. Fuck balls. Um, but yeah, so in this turret here, we've got a little grot. I'm going to add another little grot, I think. Got a little control panel going on. Yeah, that's really cool. Just, uh, just a little bit in uh, more interesting stuff, and just make it look a little bit more alive, and make it like like these Gretchen like living on it and stuff. That's really cool. I've got to add so many goddamn rivets to this fucking thing. But anyway, guys, I rambled on for like friggin' ten minutes or something like about this uh, this 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 um, uh, stomper. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna show you guys some of my eBay wins now. So um, this is these are my recent eBay wins, and I've got a pretty I've got a lot to show actually. Um, so I'm gonna try and blast through them pretty quick. 
Um, first thing that I purchased, uh, and I've been like fucking, I, I have become quite proficient at sniping stuff on eBay and scouring eBay for like really good buys. Um, first thing we have, a full metal, metal that is, yes, Gasgol Thracker. Um, you guys know what he looks like, but that was a really, really good buy. I think I won him for about a tenner, so that was pretty decent. Remember, these are the orcs, this orc army I'm doing, I'm trying to do it on a budget, so I'm basically trying to get everything for as cheap as possible. Um, and not in, obviously... Not including the paint jobs, because I don't paint, so James is painting all those for me. Um, let's see, so there's that. Uh, I also got um, a, 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 this is something that I'm really, really happy with. I got a full, um, a, a, this is without the uh, the mech, but I got a um, a really old school, um, uh, whatchamacallit? Fuck. I've forgotten what it's called. Shock attack gun. That's the little bastard. Yeah, shock attack gun. Now, it does have a mech somewhere, but I really hate the mech model. But I just love this shock attack gun. It's so cool. And also, it spins. And I'd love to put a little tiny motor in there. And Oh, wank. It's fallen on the floor. I'd love to put a little tiny motor on there and um, it'll make it actually spin. But it'd probably shake itself to pieces. Uh, but no, I just, I've, I've always wanted one of these because it just looks so cool. All the little cranks and handles and pulleys and then there's this bit here with a little turbine and these bollocks on the fucking stalks and things uh, it just looks so so cool and i love it to pieces um so i think that's going to probably go on, on a big mech model when i make it i'm going to do like a big a big mech and mega armor even though big mechs can't have mega armor they have the shock attack going but that's going to be like basically instead of his arm but yeah it's 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 a freaking really cool little little, little piece of uh, piece of games workshop um ancient history there for you uh, another thing I've got, which I'm, again, really, really proud of, I've got two very, very old Gork and Walker era knobs. Um, now, bear with me a second. I'm actually going to have to zoom in because this is really far away now. So, yeah, I've got these guys. Now, I remember seeing these guys. Obviously, before you say anything, the head and this arm isn't, like, the, for the legit model. It's because um, they didn't come with that. Uh, so I, I just had to improvise. But... I saw these, not in the current art codex, the one before, converted up, and I just fell in love with these models. Um, they're absolutely fantastic. They just look so orky and so bestial. I'm so happy to have them in my, in my collection um, because I remember wanting them, and I remember asking the Games Workshop manager at the time, this was when I was young, as also when I was like 13, where can I get them from? And he said, you know, oh, you, you've got it. You, you can't get them anymore. They're out of production. I was like, oh, damn. This is obviously before I discovered eBay, before I was allowed on the internet, really. And, yeah, I'm just so happy that I have these in my collection now. It's the, You know, when they get painted up, they're going to look so awesome and just really different. Um, but, yeah, I mean, they're from an era when, like, stuff was really looking weird for orcs. But these guys still fit in with modern-day orc stuff. Absolutely brilliant. We've got this guy with the bionic bonts here. Um, he's got loads of armor plate. It looks like a gladiator with this gladiator style armor. No chopper, just a fucking spiky mace, which is really, really cool. This guy just got a regular chopper, regular slugger, and a regular knob head. Um, so they're those guys. Um, I'll say, what else have I got for you? Oh, yeah, I've got these as well. These came in a bundle of stuff, actually. Now, I don't know how fucking old these are. Well, not actually, I do, looking at the, um, <laughs> this, the, the fucking um, date stamp on the on the tab at the bottom. These are some really old Gretchen. Well, this is actually a goblin. I think this is Rogue Trader era, actually. And um, these are lead, and they make my hands really, really smell. And I put them in my mouth once, and I got lead poisoning. Didn't really do that, but it, it could give me lead poisoning, potentially. But yeah, look how fucking cool that is. It's a really old, like, Rogue Trader era grot. Well, Space Goblin, it's really cool. I'm definitely going to use him in, in, my, in my army. But look, look, fucking 90s, is that 1988, 1987? That's 1980. That is fucking ancient. 80, 90, so that's like, that's like over 20 years old. That is freaking insane. That's like almost as old as me. And there's this guy here, which um, I think is, again, another... That actually says Gretchen on the tab, um, but I, I don't know what era that's from. It's not Gork and Walker. Maybe, maybe the end of Rogue Trader era or something. I'm not entirely sure, but it's fucking cool. And these two, again, really happy to have them that are going to be in my army. Basically, the reason, guys, why I'm going for like all these old school orcs and stuff is because I want to have like a really ragtag, random appearance to my army. Um, you know, have lots of different like uh, genome. Uh, um, archetypes of orcs and loads of different uh, looking ones to make it look like really different because you see so many orc armies it's just basic orc boys basic orc boys these are going to make up like a fucking massive horde hopefully okay guys moving on i'm running out of breath here uh, another cool thing that i've got um i basically got a um 
a uh, parcel full of bits. Um, essentially, there we go. There's so many cool bits in here. We've got freaking um, orc like orc bionic arms and things like that. We've got um, orc like truck boy torsos. These of them go come orca most of these. Now in this, I actually got three or was it four? Yeah, I got three Gretchen as well, which are really awesome. These are going on the Mega Fortress. Um, I got the uh, the metal um, Grot Helper with the big um, uh, screwdriver. I also got um, uh, this guy as well. Now, I don't even know what I've never seen this guy before. He's like a mech helper Grot with like a big fuck off wrench on his back. Uh, with like loads of like bits of like pockets and ammo and carrying worky bits about. Uh, I've also got this guy as well. This is the classic Euler Squid Grot, which I wanted in my collection for so long. It's really, really cool. I'm so happy that I have it. I really like that one, like rather than the um the the, the current one because I just love the squig. Look how look how fucking cool he is. Looks like a freaking I like uh, is it a snork? Not a snork. I don't know, but he looks awesome. Um, among other little bits, little gems in here, we've got, I know these are current actually, we've got some gnarly cave squigs, they're really, really cool, I love the big grins on them, they're freaking awesome, we've got some little ammo boxes, never actually seen that before, I don't even know where that's from, we've got some little, we've got another, we've not got another grot, spanner boy there, helper, um, some more like, um, orc truck, mech boy torso things, um, we've all, I've also got this guy now, this guy, I don't even know what this is from, I've never seen this guy before in my life, it's a little grot, Carrying a little serving tray with a little a little squig peeking out. How fucking cool is that? Looks like a boob. Um, but yeah, that's friggin' awesome. Proper blast from the power. I've never even seen this thing before. Um, we've got, you know, like, friggin' um, really old... These are so tiny, my camera's having a hard time focusing. Really old snotlings and stuff. Don't know what the fuck that is. There's just awesome, like, fucking wag banners and really old... Freaking shooters and stuff, and really old freaking arc we melee weapons, and there's so much cool stuff, so much nostalgia. There's all there was also a load of orc glyphs and plates and things like that. Um, but I've used them to make press mold, so they'll be going back on eBay because now I can reproduce them with relative ease. And um, yeah, so we've got loads of stuff here. Um, this was like a real little gem, and I can probably. Oh, oh shit, well that one's gone for a bit, and hasn't it? that's gone on the fucking floor. Um, but yeah, there's so much awesome stuff, I'm going to have to like, scoop all these back up. Um, yeah, I, I fucking love it. Now, the awesome thing is, because like, I can make press mods and stuff now. Look, we've got tiny stick bombs! Really tiny fucking stick bombs, how awesome are they? Um, so I'm getting really excited now. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to cast a lot of this stuff and then put that back on eBay. Because <laughs> I'm evil. Um, and I can't be, and I want money back. Um, now, other stuff that I've got, guys. Um, another awesome thing I've got, I've got these, like, freaking really old shooter boys. Um, these are really, really awesome. Um, I've got, hang on, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've got ten of these, which means that I only have to buy a box, one box of the new Orc boys, mix these guys in with them, and, um... You know, then I've got like a squad of 30, which is like my main bulk of my force, which is really, really cool. So we have got these old school shooter boys. Like, these are like the Gorkamorka era ones. The shooters just look so orky and so awesome. I just fucking love them. And like their poses and the way they're like, they're like fucking shirtless. Like, well, not shirtless, but like they got these just little like waistcoat jackets on. This guy just doesn't give a fuck. He's just going into battle with no shirt on. And yeah, I know, they don't look as beasty or as strong as the other, as, as the modern orcs and stuff, but they just look so freaking cool. I'm so happy to have them in my collection. Oh, fucking, there's an orc here with a freaking double bar like a like a single barrel shotgun. Which is freaking awesome. There's like loads of really cool ones. There's this, there's like, um, I mean, some of these are, like, really fucking old. But I just love the shooters, and they'll make a really nice addition. Um, other stuff that we've got, let's, um, let's move on to the next pile of stuff. Oh my god, this is like freaking insane. Now, I've got, also got a load of plastic Gorkamorka orcs. Um, they're currently being uh, painted um, at the moment. Now, I've got this massive pile of metal here. Um, this is a lot of metal. Now, in here, we've got like a shit ton of mech boys. We've got like, we've got, like one. We've got, I think, two. Uh, oh, there's, there's two, but I have a, I had another. Oh no, three. I've got another two kicking about somewhere. So, we've got the old Gorkamorka mechs. Cool. We've got the hammer one. We've got another hammer one without his hammer. We've got a spanner one as well. Now, the, the, these are just... I love the old mechs. I think they're really, really cool. Um, we've also got, like, some random freaking um, old-ass rogue trader Stormboy guys mixed in. We've got some old, really old, mega-armoured um, rogue trader era um, orcs here, which are really, really cool. I like these a lot. 
these guys, there's all the worky bits and stuff. They're really intricate models for back then as well, so that's really cool. We've got some uh, Slugger Boys, like Gorkamork era, again, really, really cool. I don't really know what this one is. I think this one is either a mech or a shooter boy. Um, somebody will have to uh, clarify that with me. Um, you know, get in touch, PM me, whatever. Got some classic, like, freaking uh, Gorkamorka style ones and, and uh, some Rogue Trader in there. We've got this fucking guy now. I don't even know what the fuck um, this guy is from. I don't even know what he's supposed to be. I know he's an orc, but that gun just looks fucking weird as shit. Um, this guy is actually 87, so this guy's actually going to get a special place in my army because this is the one of the ones that was actually meant, made on the year that I was born. Yes, because I'm an old fucker. I'm 25. Um, still playing with toy soldiers. whoop you fucking do Right, so we're going to move um, all those over there again. That's a massive pile of metal. Now, the crowning jewel of my collection is a model that I have wanted since I first laid eyes upon it almost 15 years ago. Um, 15? That would make... No, not, not 15. More like probably about 8 years ago. <laughs> more like 10 or something. But... It's a model I have wanted in my collection for so long, and now I finally have it. And I know Mr. Pidge is really jealous because he wants one, but these things go for fucking so much money on eBay. Um, that's right, ladies and gents. I have got the Red Gobbo, the Head Honcho himself. Um, now just look at this. This guy is like one of the best. This is probably the coolest Grot model ever. Unfortunately, his hands come off, but I'll sort that out. This is actually going to be. I'm going to convert this guy up and use it as a weird boy because he just looks fucking awesome. And I'm not having him as like a regular Grot. But he's like this fucking evil ass fucking Grot with like goggles on, with like a fucking like awesome ass trench coat, this awesome looking pistol. And um, I'm basically going to convert his hand to make it look like he's blasting out a load of like orc psychic powers. And um, but this guy, this guy is so fucking expensive. This guy goes for. Round about thirty-five to forty, even fifty pounds. I've seen him go as uh, go go for on eBay, which is a lot of money for something that literally will fit in the palm of your hand. Now, admittedly, I paid about fifteen quid for this. Now it's a lot for a single mini, but it was the cheapest I was ever going to get it. So I thought, fuck it, why not? Let's go and get it. Um, but yeah, guys, um, really happy to have him in there. He's gonna look awesome painted up and awesome converted as a weird boy. Um, but yeah, guys, um, that is pretty much it. All I've got to show you today, um. If you'd like to see any more of these in more close up, um, let me know. I will take photographs. I will make another video maybe solely on these and go look at these in a bit more depth. Um, but yeah, I really, this is a really long episode, so I do apologize. But yeah, thank you for watching, guys. And now it's time for the Ask Me Anything section of the show. Okay, okay, guys, it's now time for the Ask Me Anything section of the show. The part of the show where you write into me in the comments and literally ask me anything. It could be, you know, why is the sky blue? It could be, what colour are your pubes? It could be, I don't know, what does numb sweat taste like? It could be anything. Um, but uh, at this point, really, because I've only got two real questions on the Ask Me Anything, and I've got them here. Um, first question comes from Reality Bites, as usual, for all of Reality Bites questions. And he asks me rather, um, you know, Regular question for once, um, you yeah, know, so it's a bit different to answer. Uh, what whiskies do I drink? Um, and really, I don't drink a lot of whiskey. I certainly don't drink whiskey neat either. If anything, I normally have like a Jack and Coke or something like that, and uh, you know, that, that's about it. Although, I am very, very partial, and this is contradictory to what I just said. I do like Honey Jack Daniels. That straight, that neat is just, oh, it's so nice. It's like fucking nectar of the gods. No, I was going to pick up a um, a massive bottle of it at the airport last time I went on a holiday, but ran out of money because Prague did me in for cash. Um, but yeah, Jack, uh, probably Honey Jack is probably my most favourite whiskey. Um, I've tried the Jameson's and stuff like that, but it's Honey Jack. Oh, so nice. So nice. Right, so continuing the drink theme of um, this week's uh, ask, this, this episode's Ask Me Anything, this one comes from Blackblade, and he asks me, um, how do I feel about cold tea? Um, well, in regards to like iced teas and stuff like that, you know, if it's available, if I fancy it, if I'm in the mood for it, I'll have it, but I won't go out of my way to make an iced tea or anything like that. He also asks, um, what do I put in regular tea? Uh, just milk, I'm afraid, uh, nothing fancy, uh, no sugar, nothing like that. I'm sweet enough, you see. Sweet enough. Um, but yeah, so, and the other thing he asked me also was, uh, what's my favourite kind of tea? Well, um, good old PG Tips is probably my all-time favourite. Although I am very, very partial to a green tea. Um, you know, nice little uh, bit of a Japanese culture going on there and everything. 
and uh, I just I just I just love it, it, it's it's full of antioxidants and it's good for you as well. Uh, plus like zero caffeine I think in it, and it's just really really healthy. Um, but yeah, that's it. Now I will um, just add one little thing before we uh, end this episode. Um, I want to do a rather large Q and A. Um, so literally, this is going to be like a giant ask me anything. Uh, now I want at least ten plus questions that I want to answer, um, and I want, if possible, off. I want one from a, a different um, subscriber each. So guys, basically, reply to your comments. The next episode, depending on when it airs, uh, might not have an ask me anything, because it depends on whether or not I get all these questions and stuff. But literally, anything you can ask me. If you're a new subscriber and you've not scrolled all the way back through my videos and stuff like that, and you want to know a little bit more about me, you can ask me, you know, uh, when did I get into the hobby, um, what armies do I do, all kinds of stuff like that. What's my favourite race? What maybe something really... Um, really out of loop, like what race do you think I should, if, if I had my way, what race would I take out of the 40k universe? Just stuff like that really, um, and also you can do some random questions as well, like what colour underwear have I got on, you know, how big's your penis, um, do you have one ball or two, um, you know, what does none sweat taste like, all that kind of stuff. <laughs> none sweat. Uh, you could ask me um, about D&D and stuff like that, you know, and um, I'll be more happy to answer some questions if you guys watch my D&D sessions. Um, but yeah, guys, um, that'd be really, really nice to have, and I'd probably I'd put it, you know, I, I'd, it'd be a very, really casual one. I wouldn't be stood in front like this with my face on, um, uh, you know, because I do find it, it's, it on the spot, because I record all these things on the spot on the spur of the moment. There's no script or anything. I used to have a script many years ago, but these are the questions that you should ask me. Um, but yeah, guys, so... Any questions you want in the doobly doo down below. I want at least 10 plus questions, please. That would be really, really nice. Um, new subscribers, old subscribers, everyone's welcome to comment. Everyone's welcome to ask me a question. And I'll do my utmost best to, uh, to answer it. Um, but yeah, guys, um, thank you for watching. Um, and I will see you again next time. So, see you guys again. Ta-ra now. Goodbye.